So a couple of other popular myths about rattlesnakes that I hear circulating around the community include that baby snakes are more dangerous because they can't control the amount of venom that they inject. And that's actually a myth. They can control it pretty well as soon as they've had their first meal. And while the venom of a baby snake is actually slightly more toxic drop for drop, a larger snake gives about 17 times more venom per bite than a baby snake, just because they're bigger and they have more venom. And the more venom you get, the more likely you are to get sick. So as a general rule of thumb, the larger the rattlesnake is that bit you, the more likely you are to have serious effects. So it's actually probably better to be bitten by a small baby snake than a large adult snake. Mm. Um, another myth is that it's okay to pick up a dead rattlesnake. And I actually see a lot of patients being bitten by dead rattlesnakes. Uh, I've even had patients who killed the snake and decapitated it and then picked up the head to go show their friends and were bitten by the head and became very, very ill. Yeah. And this is because the snake's head and neck will retain some reflex biting activity for up to several hours after death. So they can still bite and still uh, inject venom, even if either you think they're dead and they're not dead. Dead, yeah. or if they're actually dead. So it's never safe to pick up a snake, even if you think that it's dead. Thank you.